poet and playwright Seamus O'Rourke has a hankering, like so many of us, for a bar stool and a chat. Is that too much to ask for? In the beginning, there was fear and confusion and disbelief. No one could get their head around a global pandemic. The Hiroshima and Nagasaki of the common cold. The bold human being exposed by a dirty whore of a bat. And away goes McGinty. The world is upset. The scientists perplexed. No one had a clue about what to do except for us, the common man. The plan, buy toilet rolls and stop in the house. Look to Twitter for advice and cover up any shortfallings with sign language. Those were the tools. And for the next three or four weeks, stay at home, wash your hands, stay calm. And in Ireland we did. We took this news very well. We were the dog that sat when we were told to sit. And if truth be told, we needed the rest. We needed to catch our breath because our little country has been through so much, tramped into a corner by the Brits. But now we're sophisticated and interesting and laid back. We say the right thing. We can stand out and blend in all in the one sentence. While others shout from the rooftops, we wouldn't even get up on a stool. And in early 2020, around about a year ago, we reverted to slow and wistful. We started to look at the trees and the hedges and the sky and the soft glow of the sun as it came down in the evenings. And the four weeks turned to eight. And we were still looking out across the gate into a field somewhere near the house. The poets came out then and started on about clarity and serenity and beauty and all kinds of bollocks. The new norm was born, the big yawn. Stay still and smiling while slowly going insane. That was the game. And now that's done. And not only did we stay at home for a month, but for 12 months and more. And yes, the world is lovely. Ireland is lovely. Leitrim, lovelier than a naked sheep on Sheemore Hill. And there's so much kill for that amount of loveliness and nature and a phone with a good camera. But fuck me, I can't take much more. I am sore in the head from lying in bed and politely saying, we'll get there. Where? The only light at the end of the tunnel is a reflection of the light that was there before. Nothing more. And if this is it, good luck. No, I don't want a hug. I want an hour in a pub. I want a pint. I want to have a long conversation about rusty galvanise. Is that too much to ask? Just to talk to someone about corrugated iron. Yeah, that is <laughs> whatever he said. That... Brilliant. Seamus O'Rourke. Uh, thanks, Seamus. Reflecting the mood, if not the of the nation, of me, because <laughs> that is exactly where we're at. And uh, Seamus has written a book about growing up in the County Leitrim called Standing in Gaps, which uh, I'm telling you about because it's beautiful. And if you loved that performance, you're going to love the book. So thanks to Seamus for coming in. I think we needed that.